Hello everybody. Welcome to Monday, March 8th. I know I told you we'd get some sales in from over the weekend, but my camera decided that it was going to erase my SD card. So Saturday and Sunday unfortunately is lost. So we're going to start Monday, March 8th. Never took a left. Aww, that car was a jack of the Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Ew, yeah, what's this look? Terrible. Alrighty, so sales from the weekend were really good, and I do want to highlight one of them. Uh, we sold two of them today, but we sold uh, about uh, 15 or 20 over the weekend, and this is definitely a bolo for you guys, so I do want to highlight it. These are great courses. Uh, they are basically at-home learning courses. They come with a DVD and a book. Uh, these are all sealed in the package still. Um, they go for about 70 to 80 dollars retail so if you can get them used for a decent amount of money we paid about three bucks a piece we bought two boxes of them for a hundred dollars so um this one here sold uh this is thinking about capitalism this sold for twenty dollars free shipping and then we sold another one, which is Machiavelli in Context. This is actually a two DVD set with a book. Uh, this one sold for $17 plus shipping. So if you guys uh, are going to be on the lookout for these, uh, most commonly they look like this one. So with the blue cover, that logo in the corner. Um, so yeah, be on the lookout for these. They are certainly worth the money if you can get them at the right price. All right, back to our regularly scheduled sales for the week. Uh, well, for today, starting Monday, uh, these are Levi's 505, size 38, 32 blue jeans. Uh, these are your typical blue jeans. We took an offer on these, $12 plus shipping. Next up, a little child's toy here from 1972. This is the Fisher Price Happy Apple. Uh, this sold for $14.50 free shipping. So let's get this at the bins a couple weeks back. Um, probably paid about a buck for it, so. 14 bucks, 14.50, not bad. All right, next sale is from our Retail Arbitrage uh, Tuesdays video. These are Pokemon comics. A uh, set of four in each of these. Uh, we bought these for $1.99. These sold for $49 plus shipping. They bought all of them. So we bought seven, sold seven, $1.99 uh, a piece, sold for $49 plus shipping. That's going to fall. Next up, uh, this is actually a multi-tool from Japan. Well, it's made in Japan. Uh, this has got like a spoon in it and a fork and a knife, a corkscrew. Uh, vintage multi-tool is what we're calling it. Made in Japan. Uh, I'm not sure where we got this. I would guess we got it at an estate sale and or flea market. Uh, this sold for $38 plus shipping. So if you guys see these out there, you'll want to grab them if the price is right. Next up, uh, record. We sold uh, the best of Iron Butterfly from 1971. Uh, if you don't know who Iron Butterfly was, and I didn't, the last record we sold, they sang the uh, song Anagata De Vita. Uh, I don't really recognize any other ones on here. Uh, maybe Easy Rider. Uh, but other than that, uh, that's their most popular song is Anagata De Vita. This sold for $6.50 plus shipping. All right, put it down here. Running out of room back there already. Next up from Monday's estate sale video, this is uh, Boss Hogg's Cadillac from the Dukes of Hazard. Still has the original Children's Palace price tag on it. 47 cents for this. Uh, I bought it for $10. We sold it for $24 plus shipping. Next up, another record. This is Pat Benatar. Uh, this one was in some pretty bad shape. shape. The, uh, the sleeve is not in the best of shape. So we didn't get a lot of money for this one. $3 plus shipping that is quite the 80s cover if i've ever seen it and it's from 1979 so uh but still that's it's quite the outfit there for pat uh again three dollars plus shipping last on the list 
for Monday, March 8th, is this vintage handmade uh, doily. It's a crocheted doily. We bought a bunch of these at the bins um, a couple months back. We've been slowly selling through them. We probably paid $7 for the lot. This one sold for $4.50 plus shipping. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Today is Tuesday, March 9th. We're going to got some sales today, so we're going to go over them. First one is some cassette tapes. Uh, this is just a mixed lot of cassette tapes that we put together. Uh, nothing too crazy here. It's Heart. Uh, we've got Duran Duran. We've got Don Henley and Julian Lennon. Uh, this was just a little, you know, mix of cassette tapes that we put together. Uh, sold for $5 plus shipping. Next on the list, this was from uh, Monday's video, the crazy crazy estate sale. Uh, this is a little toy pop gun. Well, they call it a, a click gun. Uh, it doesn't actually do anything besides click. Uh, it's a Hong, made in Hong Kong toy. Uh, this sold for $10 plus shipping. Alrighty, next up is this. This is a, came off the hanger. Uh, this is a women's tie-dyed shirt. Size small. Uh, brand is ANA. I have no idea what that is, but uh, yeah, your basic long sleeve women's shirt here. Uh, this sold for $6 plus shipping. Probably got this at the bins since it was a size small. Uh, didn't go for very much money, but $6 plus shipping, we'll take it. Next on the list, more of these great courses. Uh, if you guys find these out in the wild, grab them. This is a, a great course and guidebook, uh, so DVD and book combo. Uh, combo on 1066. Um, this is this was only seven dollars plus shipping. We took an offer. We were asking ten. Took seven for this little guy. Uh, probably the least um, valuable course out of all of them is this one. So uh, if you see a bunch of these, maybe skip them unless you get them for like a dollar or something. Then it'd probably be worth it. But yeah, seven dollars plus shipping. Next. Dr. Seuss book, we did get some right before it went a little nutty. We never found any of the banned ones, but we did find these. So we bought them up, paid a buck for them. Uh, this is Walk It In My Pocket by Dr. Seuss, a book of ridiculous rhymes. <laughs> this sold for $5.95 plus shipping. Next up, something you see we sell a lot of. I bet those of you that are... Uh, in, or, uh, that uh, joined up for the mystery box may have one of these coming your way. Uh, this is 1984 by George Orwell, the mass market anniversary edition. We buy these on Amazon for three bucks. We sell them for $9.89, free shipping. All right, and next is this. Uh, this is uh, something you saw us get on Tuesday's video. This is uh, retail arbitrage. We got these for uh, $5. Uh, well, no, this was $10. I remember this being a little more money than most of them. Uh, this is the Babar collection. Uh, box set, set of four classic stories. This sold for $24 plus shipping. And last for today, another thing we got on Tuesday's video. These are those uh, Yankee Candle uh, scent. I, I don't know what to call them, really. They're, there's like little jelly balls of scents in them. Uh, they're almost like car air fresheners. You guess you take the seal off the top and let it sit somewhere. And it smells lovely. <laughs> These are Yankee Candle uh, fragrance spheres. Ah, if you would have just looked at the label, I would have figured out what they call them. Yeah. Yankee Candle fragrance spheres. Wow, it's been a tough day. Yankee Candle fragrance spheres. Uh, we sold a lot of two of these for $14 free shipping. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Today is Wednesday, March 10th. And we're going to go over some what sold. But before we do that, we have a little business to take care of. And that is this. I know those of you were very happy to see Sarah sell her diapers, but they're back. Yep, we got a return. Somebody returned three out of the four diapers they bought. So, needless to say, I am going to officially say that that is not a bolo. Uh, that 
I, I don't think you should buy them. I really don't. And here's why. Because they seem to be a very hard sell. And then once they do get sold, you could run into some problems later. This one happened to be a they don't fit return, which is fine. We accept free returns and it's totally fine that they came back. However, for those of you that are out there in the reseller world looking at these things thinking maybe I should buy them, my opinion at this moment is no, do not buy them. They just aren't worth it. We still have three more out of a different brand still sitting in the closet, so it's just not worth it. They're just going to take up too much space and it seems that you might get a return. So, all right, that's my little uh, preach for today. Let's get down to what you guys came here to see, and that is what sold. We still had a good night, uh, well, night and day, so last night into today. We sold 18 items, and starting off with some socks. Yep, these are vintage Crazy Cat sleep socks from the 1960s, maybe 1970s, we're not sure. Uh, they were originally 77 cents, if you can believe it, from Murphy's, whatever Murphy's is. I'm not sure. For those of you that might know, comment down below. Let me know what Murphy's is. I assume it was a department store, but I'm not sure. Um, yep. So these are stretch socks, vintage stretch socks. They sold for $23 plus shipping. Next on the list is down here. It's a little big to put on the desk. So uh, this is a Nintendo. That's right. The Nintendo Entertainment System. Got it at uh, the first estate sale of the season. This would be two weeks ago. Um, paid 40 well paid thirty dollars for it um this does work uh, it does blink so those of you kids of you excuse me those of you that grew up in the 80s and had one of these you know what i'm talking about when you hit the power button it just blinks and blinks and blinks and then you gotta kind of hit the reset button maybe hit the power button maybe take it out and blow on it maybe clean it a little bit maybe move the cartridge around and eventually it'll work and it does work eventually uh, it does take some patience and it so it probably needs a good cleaning um maybe um you know, a little deeper clean might work out for it too. Anyways, still sold, sold for $60, uh, free shipping. Next on the list is a book. Uh, this is Ice Fire. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I, I heard this is, well, from looking at the back, I can tell this is a series uh, about dragons. So it is a fantasy novel, Ice Fire, sold for $2.50 plus shipping. Next on the list, another book, well, two books. We're just gonna go over both of them right away. This is 1984 by George Orwell. Yeah, we sell a lot of these. 1984 by George Orwell. Um, this sold for $9.89 each, free shipping. Next up is a pin. Um, this is a Christmas employee post office pin. It's kind of cool, I didn't know they gave out pins for post office Christmas workers, but apparently they did. From 1951, uh, we did not think this was as valuable as it turned out to be, um, but it is. This sold for $30 free shipping. This came off the hat full of pins that we got at the last estate sale, and uh, it pretty much sold right when it went up. So $30 free shipping. Next on the list, another sale from our Bolo. The great courses that we got over the weekend from a private pick. This was uh, the Italians before Italy. For people around here, you would say the Italians before Italy. Um, for those of you from Pittsburgh, I'm sure you've heard that before. Uh, people mispronounce Italians around here, and they say Italians. Um, this is, yeah, Italians before Italy, parts one and two. Part of the great courses. This is uh, sold for $18 plus shipping. All right, next on the list is a shirt. Uh, this is a retro looking Star Wars shirt. It's not retro. Um, this has been with us for quite a while. So if you see these guys out there, don't don't even bother with them. They, they, there's so many of them on the market and they're just not really worth them the time. Uh, this is men's size medium Star Wars shirt sold for $3 plus shipping. We're going to put this down here because we are running low on space. Next up, another shirt. Uh, this is a skull and crossbones t-shirt. I'll take it out and show you guys. Um, I'm not sure where we got these. I think we got these uh, retail arbitrage, but I'm not 100% on them. Sometimes Sarah and I find things that when we're just, you know, out shopping for ourselves and we buy them for eBay, and this might have been one of those purchases. 
Um, this is never going back in this bag, so I'm not going to try. Um, this is, yeah, just so red, white, and blue skull and crossburn, bone, uh, skull and crossbones t-shirt, uh, men's size large, sold for $13 plus shipping. All right, next up, wouldn't be a what sold video around here if jeans didn't make an appearance. These are women's size 10 Levi signature jeans. These are the cheaper brand, uh, version of Levi's. Um, not too much money here. These are, uh, we call these user distress because there are some uh, fraying on the bottom of the legs here. So uh, these sold for $10 plus shipping. Next up, another book. This was a uh, retail arbitrage at Ollie's. Uh, this is Batman Noel, a Gotham, uh, excuse me, a Batman Noel, a Gotham City Christmas Carol. How lovely. Uh, this is uh, just a gra Batman graphic novel, still sealed. Uh, this sold for $14.85 plus shipping. Next up, there's no words to describe this shirt except for snazzy it is snazzy or you could say sharp sharp this is a vintage permanent press dress shirt uh, we got this uh from the just past estate sale so monday's video this is a collar size 44 permanent press shirt probably from the 60s or 70s it's been in this package the entire time this sold for 32 dollars free shipping it's incredible with that that sold for $32. Uh, people love the vintage clothing. Should have gotten more of it. We just we didn't know if some of that new and packaged stuff would sell, and um, we were wrong. <laughs> Next up, this is a Dymo, vintage Dymo label uh, maker. Those of you that grew up in the 80s will remember this as well. You turn the little dial up here, you press the trigger, A, be. You just make a label. My grandmother used to use this to label little things downstairs for my grandfather. He had little jars with screws in them and there'd be a label over the, the jar. This uh, sold for $12 plus shipping. Next up, another book. Uh, this is a vintage etiquette book. Manners for Moderns. Isn't that nice? Uh, from 1938, this sold for $6.50 plus shipping. Next up, another t-shirt. Um, we got these um, retail arbitrage on vacation. There was actually a uh, department store down the road from the beach house we were staying at um, that was closing. So we decided to check it out. We got a bunch of these for $2. These are Realtree, new with tags, uh, men's size large t-shirts. These sold for $8 plus shipping. Another set of jeans right here. These are Lucky Brand women jeans. Women's jeans. Say that right. Women's jeans, size 12 slash 31. Uh, they're light wash, lucky brand, women's jeans. Sold for $13 plus shipping. Put that there. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we are going to change the schedule on the What Sold videos going forward. Um, we did record over the weekend the What Solds. However, the GoPro decided that it was just going to erase that footage for me. So um, the GoPro 9 is going to actually get replaced as a studio camera. I've got a new one coming in tomorrow. So I won't get into too much specifics. But just so you know, if those of you out there that maybe are looking to get into YouTube and looking at GoPro, um, the 9 is a great camera. It really works very well, but it's buggy. So just know that. Um, but that, yeah, that's about it for the weekend. So going forward, we are going to do three what solds. One on Wednesday, one on Friday, and one on Saturday. The one on Wednesday will be our sales from over the weekend. The one on Friday will be the first part of the week, so Monday through Wednesday. And then the one on Saturday will be uh, Thursday and Friday sales. So new schedule going forward. All right, guys, and that's about it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. You know you guys know the drill. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Good day, sir.